Hello everybody, I'm Grand Enemy and welcome back to Stellaris. We're playing as some Divine Elves. And the last time we left off, we colonized uh, the ocean planet of Merkab, also now known as Hydera. And they are well on their way to their first settler, which we will do that. And because of it, grab spiritual unity, probably one of the more powerful uh, planetary based edicts you can grab. We're also in the middle of expanding our fleet up to 20 ships. That's uh, 10 Retribution and 10 Revelation. Uh, we are uh, doing pretty well. We've only met one other race. And that's Aziz, a three, a three planet empire. They're at minus 20 of us because we're spiritualist fools and they're materialist fools. So, without further ado, uh, let's continue. So, we have gotten pretty much everything here. Let's go ahead and move in and. Uh, let's move you to Thrish. Build those mining stations. And you are in the middle of doing some scientific research. The paradox is in Elf itself over Elf God. Uh. Unfortunately, they can't really do much. Because we don't have the assist research tech. It's fine, you guys are... Eating, or what? You're just gonna stay there? Oh, space whale cow. Space whale cow, space whale cow. They call themselves cows, apparently. Anyway, that's the wormhole station. Construction complete. Very good. We're at 576 fleet power here. It's time for us to get ourselves an admiral, I think. Even if it's just a small one. Weapons range plus 5%. Uh, now that sound was the space whales leaving. Uh, fire rate plus 8 or weapons range plus 10. The weapons rate's probably a little bit. Plus, he's a little bit younger, so he'll live a little bit longer. So you just kind of sit there. Now, here, you're almost done with that. You're done there. You've built that up. You're going to have a lot of food. Special project complete. Okay, extra dimensional. Ah. Yes, after almost giving up hope, setting the accursed ceramic object for so long, we have reached a breakthrough. The container is a sacred relic left in orbit as a sign, surely from the divine. The object is brimming with energy, which when decrypted reveals its hidden message. Information on how to help us ascend by improving our research efforts. The only question now is, who sent this message? Thank the powers that be, we're going to gain extra dimensional insights for 60 months, that's five years by the way, giving us plus 15% reach search speed. So that's going to be enough to unlock about four or five techs. Yeah, well, yeah. It's even going to get us the uh, lithium gas in time. Wow. And I did not realize this, but everyone is operating within their within their own uh, specialties. Except for you, you're just Spark of Genius. Alrighty, so you are built up. This guy. Alright, you have that uh, sh derelict ship. I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to just come in here and take these guys over. Yeah, it's going to be four primitive armies. Special project complete. Uh, the crew of the ship has been found dead. What is more disturbing is that they appear to have been killed by some highly advanced brain parasites, which infested them and turned them mad. <laughs> Uh, Star Trek reference. Nice. Thanks to science officer 
White's findings, we could protect our own crew from being infected. Good. If you, uh, don't understand that, you're gonna have to go back to and watch the original series of Star Trek. I think it was season two that they encountered the brain parasites. Only one of the more memorable episodes. Alright, over here. You are at negative one food. That's not good. You are not. You are plus two food. Very well. Hey, Thera. You? I was going to say, you better not be at negative food. Alright. Uh, done. Hell. I would really like to get more food here. We are going to have. Well, I don't have that recent. I don't have that module, do I? All I have is the solar panel network. Also, level two upgrade, please. <laughs> uh, done. Research complete. Ah, uh, yes. You can be upgraded to an engineering. Facility. Construction complete. Also, your research is required. Uh, we could grab the destroyer, we could grab the mineral silo 2 and the mineral processing Research plant. Complete. Or we'll just grab the quail gun. We'll grab the quail gun. It's for you. Galactic ambitions or... Yeah, the hydroponics farm. Alright, there we go. Also, that lithric gas increases our shield by hit points by 15%. I do not know if that stacks or not. It might. System we're going to have complete. a fairly decent amount of space here that here that we might be able to get some resources in. Uh, Nekar was fully surveyed. Congratulations! Are you done? No, you still got one out there. Alrighty. Um. Oh god, you can upgrade. You can upgrade. And... Okay, you're good. So if we do a uh, basic science lab here, you not going to a problem. And actually, on Mark... Uh, Construction no, complete. Up. One thing I did notice. Anomaly found. Class 12? All right. We already know complete. what that's going to yield. So I do actually want to build like a symbol of unity here. Because you guys are at a fairly large distance from the capital. And then building on top, and then adding you to a sector on top of that. It's just going to increase the ethics divergence by 10%. That's one of those things that just kind of I would like them to do. Uh, Arcadia, alright, you need food. Fortunately, you can't have food. So what we're going to do actually is build a hydroponic farm here. Send us to an asteroid, we have seen that one before. Have you build some food? You, what do I want you to do? I want you definitely to do a power plant. And I want you... Architectural interest from Kabir Sundaham. Uh... You're at plus... You're at negative 36 ethics divergence. Um... Actually, yeah, that probably wouldn't be that bad. Let's System see. survey complete. Let, let, let's do a pleasure dome there. Alright, you can now return and go to Aurora. All the way over here. So, if we were to upgrade to destroyers right now, we'd have room in the fleet for 10. Going off of a 1 to 2 ratio. And you can go to there. It's only providing 1, right? Um. Plus 10 food, 20% growth time. If I were to enable you, that will, 
that mean? Letting you grow? 3.4, no, not quite. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so we've got enough stuff now that I do feel... No, I don't want the ship designer, I want the expansion planner. Do you feel okay uh, colonizing Mithar 3 here? Grab you from the capital. As to where we're going to set down, we're going to have you set down up here. On Luxworth Harmony, no. Abasis, no. Melaninix, no. No. Delphi, no. Agartha, that works. Because it's going to be one of our core planets, as is Ulm. So, this would end up becoming a sector over here. Meanwhile, uh, four months until the Hydroponics Farm 2 comes out, 17 months until complete. the Lithic Gas, 18 months until the Coil Gun. Uh, and how much longer do we have on that extra dimensional insights? Will expire in a thousand days. Still, still a few years left on that. Uh, I think at most three. Uh, Latrice Nest, you guys. Uh, do I want to? No, no, I don't. Anyway, on Arcadia. Right, just having problems getting food here. Um, this is going to be annoying. If we do say that, that will give us... 4.6 food, and will get us up to the next uh, level. Research complete. So we can do hydroponic farm twos over here. Orbital hydroponic farms would be really nice. Also, data alien. That is a science ship. Okay, that came over there. That came from, yeah, it's a uh, hyperlane dude. So we are a wormhole civilization, probably sandwiched in between two hyperlanes, which can be annoying. Um, I was deciding on things. got one dangerous creature. You've got one. You've got one. You have two. One of which is a food. Arcadia's and that's an energy guy. And it's a science guy. Orbital hydroponic farms. Ah, hell. Okay. Do that. Quickly here. Alrighty. So, if we were to come here right, we actually do need to grow. Gaining one per month, so in 30 months. Uh, Hibira, you're good. Aurora, however, could use the boost to their food. Katie, it doesn't have enough people yet, and that it definitely doesn't. However, it will allow me to clear you. And you can become a base of hydroponics farm as well. Alrighty. Construction complete. Colony ship is completed. We can come over and meet to Mithar. I'm really hoping we have some sort of strategic resource. Auto save there. Done. We are still two worlds short on the Hemdwell World Survey. Two worlds short. One, two, three, four, five. 
Yep. Fair enough. Oh, six. Here. Okay. Four months until that list of gas is done. Um, moving one to two. I don't have the bio, right? No. I just have the engineering facility. You have the plush dome, and you guys are really freaking happy now. Yay! So, I think it's time to start doing defense armies on our worlds. I like to do three. Yes, they take a little bit of maintenance and stuff. Also, where's my construction ship? There you are. Down here. Ooh. Over here? Right here. Wow. Construction complete. Um Castor doesn't have anything. Okay. Um Wait a month? Mm. Or go get that uh six. Alrighty, you guys are also ruthless capitalists. Hmm. I see. Plutocratic oligarchy. The Commonwealth of Zilk. Uh, I, I give up. Oh, you guys are over there. Well, now that puts a different perspective on things, now doesn't it? I think we are going to need to grab, uh, as much as I hate it, a uh, wormhole station here in Castor. And it will probably end up being one in, like, here. Just to get out further. Also, is that binary? No, it's not. Let's say, is that a binary system? Because I didn't know those existed. Stood in, uh... Alaris. Also, you research complete. Go do some mining stations and then room of armies good. Lithric gas assist research. Definitely. Over here. Ah, uh, the nuclear missiles. Good. All, all of my poor planets are now defended with colonial garrisons. You guys are still a little bit powerful. I've got about half the fleet strength strengths there, and even then I probably wouldn't go in until I've got about 1,500 fleet strengths against them. We could almost take out these guys in these two systems, which would be nice. Construction complete. Uh, Aurora finished its construction queue. Right, you didn't have anything major going on. Uh, da -da -da -da, okay. Enough. Do I have any edicts here? Yeah, spiritual unity. Okay. Uh, Agartha, you are going to be most difficult. Get three food from the Research thing, complete. and then that's about it. Orbital hydroponic farms. Ooh, we could unlock terraforming. Or mountain range from removal. Terraforming! Construction that would be really nice, particularly if we ended up with one of those two in here. Of course, we would need both to do terraforming, but eh. It is what it is. You're doing those things. Colony established. Colony established. You're going to go immediately here. You're going to build a hydroponics farm. And if I can let's get the uh, spiritual unity here going because Agartha's only got two addition, two extra food, and it will need extra food. All right, Elfgard itself is doing well. All right, what do we need more of? We need more physics research. Actually, 
going to go ahead and upgrade complete. you. Okay, and well, I might as well just upgrade both of them. So those are both going to become physics research plots. Go ahead and clear you on Aurora. We did not grab the bio lamp. It's fine. Arcadia Construction is growing complete. there. Good. Oh, come on. Now you will upgrade this building, which is necessary. In order to keep growing, that will increase our food by a certain amount. Yeah, by one. Ooh, I don't have enough influence to do it either. Whoopsies. You are already a planetary administration. You are now working on your fifth pop in the spot I wanted you to work. Good. You've also got Batharian Stone. Construction complete. Uh, Challenger completed uh, a queue here. Can I get you out here and do some more? Thank you. A couple of more months and we'll be able to get that administrative headquarters on Acadia. Uh, da -da -da done. You're going straight there. I'd rather you go here, because I want the Batharian stone hooked up. Yeah, I didn't think so. You're at a negative one. Yeah, only point four. You're with spiritual unity active. Upgrade you. Thank you. We're now at exactly zero influence. It's actually something I don't really have that much uh, experience with, in all honesty. Alrighty. Let's uh, grab the Gamma Aliens. I believe those were uh, Space Amoeba. Uh, and then, yeah, two, short, two worlds short on there, and we haven't found a single one of you. Uh, we're at 20 of 24 fleet capacity. Don't really need to expand the fleet just yet. Okay. The Commonwealth and the Cartel are now rivals. Yes. No, I, didn't ex I expected that. Oh yeah, because they expanded. Most definitely. You guys are not complete. awesome. Uh, the entities can encountered by our fleet some time ago are new, new space-borne life forms, quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of the of initial sensor output. The creature is in fact larger than the average Alpha Corvette, despite its uh, apparent horniness. Further study is warranted. We can remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Alpha Guard. Issue special project. Which I think is society. It is, and will take four months to complete. Very well. And do so then. Construction complete. Okay. Ooh. Research complete. The charade has been ended. We've got missiles. And eh, we could go up and get torpedoes. Or we could say stay back and grab the mineral processing plant. Nah, torpedoes. Torpedoes are powerful. They always have been, probably always will be. As for you, I'm going to declare you my rival. So there. We're equivalent across the board. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really get out there. I could put one here in Yerba. A wormhole station, I mean. And should we ch reach old old door. These guys are on uh, cold worlds, but are ruthless capitalists. So Special project complete. Space Amoebas forever! The Space Amoebas, the nickname became popular after the story of how it came to be, found its way back to Elfgard, are solitary animals when left to their own devices. All but the uh, 
youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent organisms dubbed flagella, seemingly spawned by the amoeba, and programmed through liquid RNA laced secretions to do the bidding of the host. Initially assumed to be young space amoebas, the flagella do not seem to factor into any reproductive mechanics. Each individual flagellum instead operating solely as a disconnected limb for its host amoeba. These uh, flagella are capable of manipulating and attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host, periodically returning to lodge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. Fascinating indeed. And that's here and here. I do not recall. I do not remember what sort of research they give us, but they do give us uh, some sort of research. But, I'm all, all out of time for today. So, until next time, I've been Grand Enemy. You guys have been awesome as always. And as always, take care.